Weston. I'm the celebrity mentor stylist. So today I wanna to talk about the 16 accessories every man needs. Some of these items you may not use all the time, but there will come an occasion where just as a grown man, you're gonna need these items and you'll think yourself that you thought far enough ahead and picked them up so you're not scrambling at the last moment. So for almost all the items on this list, I've actually done very thorough videos and articles about them. So I'll list the relevant links down below in the video description. All right, so let's get into it. Number 16 on the list is a white pocket square. So like I've always said, every man needs at least one suit in his closet. So along with that suit, you'll need a pocket square. Being well-dressed is all about those little details. So a pocket square is something that is easily forgotten, but actually has a really big impact. And it's only gonna set you back a couple bucks, so it's a no-brainer, go get one. Number 15 on the list, it's also another overlooked item, and that is a silver-colored tie bar. So like I mentioned in my video about the 12 things men wear that women love, I'll link that in the video description. A tie bar is something that really adds a special touch to any outfit, and they're really cheap. So do yourself a favor, think about it once, go buy it, and you'll never have to think about it again. But you're gonna look like a complete idiot if you're wearing your tie bar without a tie. So that leads me to my number 14 item, which is a solid black and navy tie. So these two ties are gonna go with pretty much every suit in your closet. But do make sure that the width of your tie complements your build. If you're unsure about that, check out my video. It's part of the Men's Accessories Essentials series. I'll link that below. Number 13 on the list is dress socks. So I don't care if they're patterned or solid, but just get rid of all your white socks. Your dress socks can and really should be used as your everyday socks. Now, if you need a thicker, more heavy duty sock because of your occupation or because of the cooler weather, wherever you live, then there are plenty of companies out there that make thicker versions of these socks. So if you're not sure, I have a whole video about that again. Check it out, linked below. Number 12 on the list is sunglasses. So whether you are a sunglass guy or not, sunglasses are really important because not only do they protect your eyes from the sun, but they also prevent you from squinting, which causes wrinkling around the eyes, which you're gonna regret when you get a little older and they set in deeper and they really add a stylish touch to any outfit. Just be sure to pick out the right frame shape for your face. It's always gonna be based on your face shape. I've done a whole video and article about that. I'll link it below. Number 11 is baseball hats. So look, we all have lazy days. I have them too, where we just don't wanna do our hair and we just wanna be like, F it, I'm throwing on a baseball hat. So I know that and that's why you really should have one because it's better to just throw on a hat than walk out of the house with just unkempt hair. So I have very specific thoughts about baseball hats and which hats you you should go with, so definitely be sure to check out the article for this video. I'll link it in the video description. Number 10 are black and brown derby or Oxford dress shoes. So not only do these dress shoes look great with suits, but they also look really nice with a pair of jeans, chinos, or wool trousers, just when you wanna really dress up a more casual outfit. Number nine on the list, black and brown dress belts. So because you're gonna be wearing dress shoes, you absolutely need to have dress belts that match the color of your shoes. Number eight on the list is a weekender bag. So everyone travels, whether it's to some exotic country or just across town, you're gonna need to put your clothes into something and a trash bag is definitely not an option. Like every accessory you have, it should not only serve its purpose, but it should look damn good at the same time. So you guessed it, I did a whole video and article about weekender bags. Be sure to check that out. And this next item goes hand in hand with a weekender under bag and that is number seven, a dop kit. So doesn't matter if you're going you know, to another city or just to the gym, a dop kit is essential because it's going to keep all your grooming products contained and organized in a respectable manner. Number six on the list is a backpack or a briefcase with a detachable strap. So which one you go with is gonna be dependent upon your occupation and your lifestyle. So if you work in a more casual setting or you're a student, then you wanna go with a backpack but if you work in a more professional environment, then you should go with a briefcase. And I know it's gonna be asked in the comment section below, 
So I gotta address it. Ain't nobody got time for some messenger bags. Now I go into my whole reasoning about why I do not like messenger bags in my briefcase video, so be sure to check that out. Number five on the list is a casual or a dress watch. So like the last point, which one you go with is gonna depend on your lifestyle. So if you are dressing casual pretty much every day, go with the casual watch. If you're in a suit most days, go with the dress watch. And you guessed it, I did a whole video and article about this, so be sure to check that one out. Number four on the list is white low top sneakers. So everyone has their casual days and sneakers look sharp on every guy, regardless of your age or your body type. Now I am saying specifically low top sneakers, not high top sneakers. High tops don't look great on everyone, whereas low tops look great on every guy. If you're a little scared of white, which I have, I definitely have friends and clients that are, then um, a really great way to just ease yourself into it is to go with a pair of low top sneakers in black or navy or gray. Those will just kind of help, you know, make you more, a, a little more comfortable. And then you can graduate to white sneakers. Third on the list is boxer briefs. So all women find boxer briefs, specifically in darker colors, very sexy on a man and really all men should be wearing boxer briefs, period. Number two on the list is black and brown casual belts. So whether you're wearing shorts, chinos, or jeans, throw on a nice casual belt. It really just adds a nice visual touch to every outfit. And the most important accessory every man should own is, drum roll please, a quality wallet. The things a man carries tells a lot about him and that's no more true than with your wallet. So be sure to carry a nice quality minimal wallet. I have very strong opinions about wallets and my recommendations about them. So be sure to check out the video I did on all of that. I'll link it in the video description below. For all of my favorite products for each of the items on this list, be sure to check out the article that accompanies this video. I'll link it in the video description below. If you like this video, remember, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.